Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the heavyweight bout in Bellator between Tyrell Fortune versus Marcelo Gom. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going Marcelo Gom average confidence to beat Tyrell Fortune. I feel like Fortune, you know, he kind of has some high prospective at, or at least some decent prospective at some point or early on when he was undefeated. And even after like one loss, like, well, everybody gets one loss. Like, you know, he lost to Ty Ty I said Tyson Johnson. What's his name? Tony Johnson, not Tyrell Johnson. <laughs> yeah, he, you know, he had one loss. You know, like it happens, but then he had some lackluster performances. He skid by on some decisions, got, you know, gifted decisions here. And then there's some question performances, question loss. Even his last fight, he got a win by pretty much getting beat up. Like he was doing okay, but he wasn't doing phenomenal. He was going in with some guy like a step down. He was supposed to probably go out there and win and look impressive. And as a matter of fact, it's not like Tyrell Fortune has ever truly looked impressive. Like he hasn't had a fight where oh, this guy looks truly impressive. Even uh, kind of fighting fighters that should fall down for him, he had issues. And it was like one fight. He was supposed to go, you know, he's fighting his like journeyman, regional journeyman. Like not a re not like a top tier journeyman, but like a regional level journeyman. And um, still struggled with him. And I think the fight ended by a nut kick. And I, didn't, I think he rematched him and eventually did what he was supposed to do. But yeah, he just had, has been lackluster all this time. And I think by now it's clear to see that this guy is just not, he's just not that guy. If he does become that guy, cool. But I think it has been enough showing that show he's not a guy. Not to say that Marcelo Gomez is necessarily a guy, but I think Marcelo Gomez at least has a truer skill set like in his BJJ. I feel like Tyro Fortune's grappling really all up there. I feel like his wrestling overrated to an extent. And um, I feel like Marcelo Gomez could win this one. I feel like he can surprise him on the feet. And I think in the grappling chains, I feel like he can find opportunities, especially if, um, like, he just like, look, look at the Linton Vassell fight. I think he was doing okay on the feet against Linton Vassell, okay enough, but he kept going to the ground and getting reversed. And I feel like very low fight IQ and just has been choking and just not measuring up a lot of times. And I think uh, Marcelo Gomes will be exploit him. You know, probably be able to catch him with stuff on the feet that he don't see. Probably get a little bit overzealous, a little bit too comfortable if he get caught by someone on the feet, get wobbled, try to go for a takedown, get reversed, and the bottom position is getting teed off on and carrying Gomes' weight. And ultimately, I feel like it's going to be a case where he's just going to have maybe a good start but fade pretty bad once he gets stung with some shots. And then in the grappling change as well, he's probably going to Feel like he having some success, but then gonna end up getting reversed or on the bottom, and it's again it's all going downhill. So okay, start until a a clear going downhill, and Gom just starts navigating the fight and submits some second round, probably like late second round. So in this one, I got Marcelo Gom via second round submission. 